The issue of undocumented immigrants in South Africa has long been a source of contention, not only because of the large influx of migrants from African countries, but also due to the presence of undocumented foreigners from Europe, North America, South Asia, East Asia, and other non-African regions. Though the primary focus of discussions around immigration tends to center on African migrants, the reality is that there is a significant number of undocumented immigrants from other parts of the world. Their impact on the social, economic, and political landscape of South Africa is substantial, although often underreported or neglected. A closer examination of these undocumented immigrants reveals a complex web of illegal entries, overstayed visas, and a wide range of activities, both legal and illegal, that they engage in while residing in South Africa. The South African Department of Home Affairs has historically faced significant challenges in managing this influx, partly due to a combination of inefficiency and corruption within its ranks. This has often allowed undocumented immigrants from various countries to enter and remain in the country with relative ease. Data on the exact number of undocumented immigrants from Europe, North America, South Asia, and East Asia are difficult to come by, mainly because of the hidden nature of their residency. However, unofficial estimates suggest there are thousands of undocumented foreigners from these regions. A significant portion of them arrive on tourist or temporary work visas and simply overstay their welcome. Others may use unofficial border crossings, fraudulent documents, or manipulate the visa system to gain entry and remain in the country illegally. For example, Europeans, Americans, and Canadians entering South Africa generally do so legally, but a portion of them choose to stay after their visas expire. Many of these individuals integrate into expatriate communities, particularly in cities such as Johannesburg, Cape Town, and Durban, where their presence is often less scrutinized. They find employment in fields such as education, hospitality, technology, and business. Due to their language skills and professional qualifications, they are able to secure jobs in sectors that benefit from these attributes. However, the fact that they are undocumented makes them susceptible to exploitation, with limited avenues for legal recourse in the case of labor abuse or mistreatment. In terms of economic impact, undocumented immigrants from Europe and North America often occupy relatively higher income positions compared to their African counterparts. They blend into the professional class and enjoy lifestyles comparable to their documented peers, which often causes their undocumented status to go unnoticed. Unlike African immigrants, who are typically more visible and subject to regular police checks and raids, Europeans and North Americans do not face the same level of scrutiny. This has led to an uneven enforcement of immigration laws, with authorities focusing disproportionately on African immigrants, while non-Africans often evade detection. South Asian immigrants from countries like India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh represent another significant group of undocumented migrants. Many of these individuals come to South Africa seeking economic opportunities that are scarce in their home countries. They often find work in the informal sector, particularly in street vending, small-scale retail, and construction. In some cases, they enter South Africa on legitimate visas but overstay, while others may come through illegal means, such as fraudulent documentation or human smuggling operations. Family-owned businesses also provide a means of employment for South Asians, allowing them to avoid detection by authorities. The influx of undocumented South Asian immigrants has caused friction with local South African communities, particularly in townships and lower-income areas where job competition is fierce. Many locals perceive South Asians as taking away employment opportunities, driving down wages, and contributing to social problems. This has sometimes resulted in xenophobic attacks, particularly during periods of economic hardship or heightened political tensions. Despite these challenges, undocumented South Asians have managed to establish a foothold in certain economic sectors, 
and their presence is an undeniable feature of South Africa's urban and peri-urban economy. Undocumented Chinese immigrants also form a notable part of the undocumented population in South Africa. Many Chinese nationals arrive in the country legally, either on work or tourist visas, but a significant number overstay or enter through unofficial channels. The growing presence of Chinese nationals is most visible in the retail and wholesale sectors, where they operate small businesses selling a variety of goods, ranging from clothing to electronics. In cities like Johannesburg and Durban, entire neighborhoods have been transformed by the influx of Chinese-owned businesses, some of which operate with undocumented workers or under irregular conditions. Chinese immigrants often live in close-knit communities that help them avoid detection by immigration authorities. The community's economic influence is considerable, as Chinese wholesalers and retailers play a significant role in South Africa's informal economy. However, the same invisibility that helps them avoid immigration raids also leaves them vulnerable to exploitation, not only by employers, but also by corrupt officials who demand bribes in exchange for protection or leniency. Like their European and North American counterparts, Chinese immigrants generally do not experience the same level of xenophobic hostility faced by African immigrants, though tensions have flared at times due to perceptions of economic competition. Efforts by the South African government to address the problem of undocumented immigrants have been inconsistent. The Department of Home Affairs, tasked with regulating immigration, has faced widespread criticism for its inability to adequately control borders or enforce visa regulations. Reports of bribery, mismanagement, and corruption within the department are common, further complicating efforts to address undocumented immigration. This corruption enables undocumented immigrants to either enter the country illegally or remain undetected for long periods. For example, there have been documented cases of officials accepting bribes to issue fraudulent residency documents or to turn a blind eye to illegal activity. In some instances, entire syndicates have been discovered that specialize in helping undocumented immigrants from non-African countries remain in South Africa illegally by providing them with forged documents or facilitating their movement across borders. This has led to a situation where the enforcement of immigration laws is selective, with African immigrants being more likely to face arrest or deportation, while non-African undocumented immigrants often escape the same level of scrutiny. The economic and social impact of undocumented immigrants from Europe, North America, South Asia, and East Asia is a source of growing concern. In the retail sector, for example, the presence of Chinese and South Asian immigrants has changed the competitive landscape, with many local businesses struggling to compete with the lower prices and larger supply chains that these immigrant-run enterprises can access. This has created resentment among local business owners, who feel that the government is not doing enough to protect their interests or to ensure that foreign-owned businesses operate on the same terms as local businesses. At the same time, undocumented immigrants from these regions contribute to the South African economy in various ways. Many of them fill gaps in the labor market, particularly in sectors where there is a shortage of skilled workers. This is particularly true for European and North American professionals who often work in industries such as technology, finance, and education. While their undocumented status makes them vulnerable, they also provide valuable skills and expertise that contribute to the country's overall economic growth. In summary, undocumented immigration in South Africa is not limited to African nationals, and the presence of undocumented immigrants from Europe, North America, South Asia, East Asia, and other regions is a significant yet often overlooked issue. These individuals come to South Africa for various reasons, including economic opportunities, political instability in their home countries, and the prospect of joining family members already living in South Africa. While their presence poses challenges, they also contribute to the economy in meaningful ways. 
However, the selective enforcement of immigration laws and the disproportionate focus on African immigrants have created an uneven landscape where non-African undocumented immigrants often escape the same level of scrutiny and deportation. Addressing this issue requires a more balanced and consistent approach, alongside broader immigration reforms aimed at regularizing the status of undocumented migrants and creating legal pathways for migration. The challenge for South Africa will be to balance the need for effective immigration control with the rights and dignity of all individuals, regardless of their country of origin. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates.